In recent shots, we already used uh, virtual threads and completable future to time out a method. So this method returns a string. So what I can also do, I can use a callable or executor service and a future to achieve the same. So let's try this. Executors, executors, new uh, single thread executor. So we only need one thread. This is enough. So we get the executor back. And then I can submit some work. And uh, what I submit is not a runnable, rather than a callable. So app uh, slow. And uh, what I get back is a future, future. And uh, actually, so we can just use the type future of string. So this is the pointer to future result. So I perform here some work. And then I would like to see the answer or the result. And the result is future.get. So future.get will just block. But what I can also ask the future is to return after only wait 600 milliseconds um, and otherwise throw an exception, timer exception, and then just return that. So if I run the code here, before some were calculated in 42, as we can see, it was su successfully calculated. But um, if I wait shorter than, six, than 500 milliseconds, so uh, then this one, um, I should get a timeout exception, and I do.